Okay, I wanted to show you, um, you know, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is where supposedly uh, sea floor spreading is taking place, where these plates are being pressed apart. You know, what what started the whole thing, I don't know. They, they claim convection is, is like pushing these plates apart as it's filling in the crack, right? But what makes these lines right here, these cross lines? And I wanted to show you also then if seafloor spreading is taking place there, how come I can match this right here with this? Uh, there's no seafloor spreading taking place in between these areas. So there, if there's plates being pressed apart here, how how is it that I can match these up? And I can match them up forensically as I'm going to show you. Okay, here's those two areas. And you can just tell that they look alike right out the gate. And uh, when I line them up, you can see that there's these islands here. Volcanoes. Okay. You can see that they line up. But let me get cl even closer. You can see on the islands that they got volcanoes. But wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete all the water and just leave the volcanoes and see what, how they line up. Okay, so let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, you can see. Like I said, these are like a different moment in time. That's why these are just points, and then, then you got islands. But you've seen where they are from each other. They're, um, I mean, look at that alignment. Come on. What are the odds that, uh, for one, having a group of uh, volcanoes set like that and then have them line up when they're half a, a world away? Uh, one's at the equator pretty much and the other one's at the other pole and uh, they're the same distance apart and they're going the wrong way for sea, sea floor spreading so what gives not only that remember those lines I was telling you about well they seem to be the same distance apart as those islands or volcanoes see how like when I drag these across it's like a comb what does that say about the mid-atlantic ridge okay for one I I'm not supposed to be able there's plates under here they're supposedly spreading apart but yet I can take uh, from north and south and move them and line them up and match the the volcanoes with these islands um, and then on top of that those grooves that are running across the the supposed mid-atlantic ridge match up with these uh, these teeth marks you know these islands right here you can even see them going to it you know what I mean like like how, how more obvious can it be there's something not plate tectonics is not right. There, there's they're wrong. There, this what you're seeing with your eyes proves that plate tectonics is wrong. Here's um, Italy, and I wanted to show you that these islands, these volcanoes, that they have a certain distance apart from one another, um, match up all around the world with similar looking. Uh, volcanoes and, and mountain peaks and um, I want to show you Italy here and you, you see these dots right right here you can see that they're the same distance apart as these volcanoes are the 
guys and see the, these islands here too same thing so the, I'd never heard of this mentioned in, in geology or plate tectonics but anybody can see that this is an, this is an important feature um, that shouldn't be overlooked and it has to do with the creation of our planet because this is everywhere okay I can this the same distance apart uh, uh, features can be found all over the planet like even like in here like you can see that like as if this I like to think of this as an alligator for some reason with his teeth taking chunks out of things and uh, and then leaving the scrape marks behind see you can see these gouge marks right here it almost looks as if this was uh, rotating around with these uh, peaks And you can see, like, if this is forensics, this would be kind of like matching dental work. You know, you could, it's this common distance right here. And notice that it, it just fits right here. It's these, this sizing. So, but yeah, check it out. What do you think? Here's Australia, and um, here's those same volcano. And I'm just showing you that um, that this is related to all parts around the world. You can see the sizing again. And you can see, you can see you know these peaks right here. Whatever, this looks like it's been shredded apart. By the way, this looks like what would be left of your arm if it was bitten off by a crocodile. It'd be torn up like that, and then you'd be able to match the, the bite marks, just like I am with these islands right here. Um, that sizing is, is a dead giveaway that this is related. See, even over here. It's almost as if these islands are creating land features or tearing them apart. Here's the, the Horn of Africa, the tip, the southern tip of Africa. And I've showed you this. This has been gouged out layers. Um, which also kind of su uh, supports what I'm saying about our continents being layers that sat on top of one another at one point. You can actually see the layers here that are missing, then been broken off. You don't see any debris around. And that means something. I also want to show that the sizing is also related to those volcanoes again you can see these layers are similar in distance as the volcanoes and then of course you've got these pieces right here that are kinda of similar too we're talking in the distance and how they're in, in, in order okay this is over by Madagascar and again you can see these scrape marks on the ocean floor bottom and you can see that they're the same distance as those volcanic islands um, again and again and again and um, you don't see any mention of this in plate tectonics and this is kind of a no-brainer that this is a, a global 
global event when you can find it all over the planet. Okay, here's another uh, important area on the planet in Africa. I can take this and I can line this up over California, by the way. But I also want to show you that those same islands, they match up with the marks here again. These marks are bigger, but they're the same distance apart as those that group of islands. And this is significant. This is like a, a fingerprint or a bite mark. And if I can match them over different areas of the planet, well, it means that those areas are connected. Okay, here's Florida. And right next to Florida is this area right here. It actually looks like a bite mark from like a, something with a fang. But I want to show you again that same islands, the same distance, and you can see it fits in there. It actually fits in there better than I thought. Actually, look at that. And it, this is no okay. These are volcanoes, whatever. And then this is not volcanoes. These are just grooves or marks. And you can see that they're related. So these volcanoes cannot be just volcanoes. And uh, what I think they are is um, I'm claiming that they're volcanoes are like after the after the effect, I guess. And these are the result of electrical discharge. They have to be because volcanoes don't they don't they're not responsible for uh, uh, features like this. They usually just spew out a lot of you know volcanic rock and and magma. Well. That's what we see now, but at one point or time, I believe electrical is what came out of these. Okay, so not only do we have the same distance apart here, um, but we also got an, an arch. And you can see how this f fits that. From there to there there to there you see that the west coast California and other areas but you can see these what looks like ripples and dots like right here you can see that the land features you can see that they they just fit. They may be doubled up, but the distance is right because you can constantly see things lining up. So what what could have created these lines and what could have created the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? And um, I'm just wondering could the truth be this easy? Let me show you what I mean.
Notice that the, the length is the same as those lines. Okay. Notice as I bring this up, things start to line up on the other side of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and, in, and at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. See that? Well, okay, so... And then if I was to flip this around... You see? So what could this be? Well, how about how about a rotating vortex? You see? See how that fits right in there? That line lines up right there. Like that. And these lines. Also notice that when I bring this in the bottom here, this triangular part lines up in there as this moves in. This is what made the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's the center line of the vortex. And it is that easy to figure out. You've seen the alignments. You can see that here's the you see how those line up right there, right? Go ahead and leave your comments. And uh, thanks for watching.